Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of Draw with Rob with me Rob Bidolf. There I am with Ringo in our Christmas hats. Why are we wearing our Christmas hats hats and why am I showing you this Christmas Draw with Rob book? It's because it's pretty much Christmas and that means this is the first of this year's Draw with Rob Christmas videos. Look even got the special Christmas backing paper. Um, I should introduce myself. My name is Rob Bidoff. I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my books before. Have you seen this one? It's called An Odd Dog Christmas. This one's my first actual proper Christmas story. A follow-up to uh, one of my most popular books, Odd Dog Out. All about our odd dog friend who does all sorts of Christmassy things in this book. Look, she's doing carol singing, present wrapping, uh, Christmas cookie baking, all sorts of things like that. Look, she's even on the Christmas merry-go-round. Merry so check that one out if you like festive fun. Maybe you have seen my chapter books, the Peanut Jones series. This book here is the third book in the series. I'm super, super proud of all these books now. I'll show you just some of the internal illustrations. You can see here how heavily illustrated these books are. and I'm very, very proud of it. They're good books for first chapter books, I would say, because as you can see, loads and loads of illustrations, about 200 illustrations, I think, in each book, and very short chapters, and an exciting sort of twisty, turny, cliffhangery story. So check them out if you like the look of that. Um, but we are here today, as per usual, to do a little drawing together. And we are doing a very festive drawing today. Now, I've done lots of videos, lots of Christmas videos in the past, as regular viewers will know. We have drawn all sorts of things. We have drawn snowmen, we've drawn elves, we've drawn reindeer, we've drawn Father Christmas, of course. We've had gingerbread men, uh, I don't know, Santa's sleigh, all sorts of things we have drawn. But we have never drawn what we are gonna do today, because today, Boys and girls, I thought I would show you how to draw a very cute Brussels sprout character. <laughs> I know, it sounds quite, even when I'm saying it out loud like that, it sounds a bit crazy, but do you know what? It's gonna be really, really fun, I promise you. Now, Brussels sprouts divide people, don't they? Hot, you know, most, lots of people, I would say more people dislike them than like them. But do you know what? I'm one of the people who does like them. They are, for those that don't know, they're those little kind of mini cabbage things that you find on your Christmas dinner plate next to your turkey and your pigs in blankets and your roast potatoes and stuff. And lots of you probably leave them <laughs> exactly where they are on your plate and don't eat them. But I really like them. And they are so synonymous with Christmas, aren't they? We only really have them at Christmas and so they do just remind me of Christmas. So I thought they would be a good Christmas draw along theme. Certainly a good one to start with. Um, so. I'm going to tell you how Draw With Rob works, just in case you've never done one of these videos with me before. Lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say, nonsense, everybody can draw. Some people just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. Now that's where I come in, because I am going to break this drawing of a little Brussels sprout character. I'm going to break it down into bite-sized pieces, no pun intended. <coughs> excuse me, a bit coffee, a little bit of a, a bit of a kind of winter cold at the moment, so do excuse my slightly funny voice. So what we're going to do, I am going to draw, I might just draw a line, I might draw a shape, I might draw a wiggly line, but whatever I draw, let me do it, then pause the video and you copy what I do. Okay, then start me up again and I will draw a little bit more, then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. Oh, Ringo. Ringo is barking. Can you hear him? I don't know if that's picking it up, but he is barking. He wants to, I think he wants to come in, or maybe not. Maybe he's just barking at something random and going, Ringo, what are you barking at? I'm trying to record a Christmas video here for the boys and girls. Please, give me some quiet, young man. I don't know, some people are so rude. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, I draw, you draw, I draw, blah, 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 all that business. By the end, we are gonna end up with a drawing of a little cute Brussels sprout character that we are extremely proud of, I promise you. Right, shall we start? Without any further ado, let's start. Oh, by the way, I meant to say, if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it, it's not meant to. You're gonna, you're gonna put a bit of your own character into your drawing. If you make a mistake, 
don't start again. Don't screw it up and start again, just keep on drawing. Often it's those little mistakes that add character to your picture, I promise you. Right, let's start then, shall we? So I'm gonna do my drawing I'm going to make my character quite small in the middle of my page because Brussels sprouts are quite small and this is going to be a very cute character so I think the smallness is going to add to that cuteness. So what I want you to do first of all in the middle of your page I want you to draw a semicircle okay so like a big smile shape like this. We're going to come down let's go quite high up here on each side so like a nice semicircle shape like that okay then from the top right side of your semicircle we're going to come down we're going to join up from here to about here but we're not going to do it in a straight line we're going to do it in a slightly wobbly line like this like one of those sort of bumpy slides you get in playground sometimes okay then what we're going to do we're going to do exactly the same on the other side, so from our point at the top of the left hand side of our semicircle, we're going to go down towards the bottom right in a bump, but we're going to stop when we meet the other line, like that. And these are going to form the two leaves at the bottom of our Brussels sprout. Now, Brussels sprouts, they, as I said earlier, they look like little mini cabbages, don't they? So they're made up of lots of leaves that kind of wrap around each other. And I think they are actually part of the cabbage family, interestingly enough. I have got a couple of Brussels sprouts facts. One, they're part of the cabbage family. Two, they did come from Brussels in Belgium. That's where they got their name. And I was actually in Brussels a couple of months ago doing events out there. It was a lovely place and I did eat some Brussels sprouts when I was out there too and they were delicious. Um, what else can I tell you? Yes, Brussels sprouts are extremely good for you. They're full of fiber, they're full of protein. They've got more vitamin C inside them than oranges do. Isn't that amazing? So if you are one of those people who likes Brussels sprouts, then you are eating something that is incredibly good for you. If you don't like them, listen, I've got, an, I've got a recipe suggestion. We have them with roast chestnuts and little bits of bacon, sort of mixed in. Oh my God, they're absolutely delicious. Trust me, try them that way. That might make you like Brussels sprouts. Right, stop talking about Brussels sprouts. Start drawing Brussels sprouts, Rob. Right, we're gonna finish our circle. So we are gonna draw the top half of our circle now, but I'm not gonna start from level with that line. I'm gonna move in a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the top half. So I'm gonna come around here in a nice semicircular shape. I'm gonna join back up here, but again, slightly inside the edge. So it looks like our leaves are just sort of wrapping around the bottom half of our Brussels sprout like that. Okay. Right, um, as I said earlier, well, okay, so let's, let's do this next. Let's give our Brussels sprout some eyes. Remember I said I'm gonna make a little Brussels sprout character. So the theme for this year's Christmas draw, -along, draw alongs, Christmas episodes of Draw with Rob, is they're gonna all sort of be like little manga characters, little kawaii characters. Kawaii is a Japanese art form. It's kind of like mini manga. So very cute manga for young kids, okay? Um, so we're gonna sort of follow that theme for all of our draw alongs this year. And the main way that you'll be able to tell that these are kawaii drawings is because of the eyes and the mouths. So the eyes with kawaii drawings are quite big. So we're gonna draw a circle, sort of on the right hand side of our character's head. Quite big, like that. And then let's draw the other one here. We're gonna try and make them the same size, obviously. We want their eyes to be kind of equal in size. There we go. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw another circle inside each one. We're gonna do it right down in the bottom left corner, like that. Okay. Then we're gonna draw two more. We're gonna do smaller circles right up in the top right hand corner of each eye, like that. And it sort of looks like, weirdly, it looks like our character is looking down to the left. But watch what happens when you colour in around those two little circles. You just colour in around them, carefully as you can, like that. And look, it makes it look like suddenly they're looking straight at you. And you get to those little circles we did are just kind of reflections of light. And it, in, the illusion works perfectly and they just look like very cute little shiny eyes. Okay, 
Now, I'm not gonna add any more of the facial features yet. We are gonna add a mouth, we're gonna add some little eyebrows, might even add some freckles and some cheeks, but I'm not gonna do all that stuff yet because we're gonna color in our Brussels sprout character soon and I want to draw the mouth over the top of the colored pencil so that we don't smudge, okay? But what we can do now, we're gonna add kind of little hands, little arms, and we're gonna do them in the form of leaves. So we're gonna draw some two cute little leaves sticking out the side. So what I want you to do, coming out of the right hand side, I'm just gonna draw a little leaf shape, like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. And these are gonna just sort of form our characters, little leafy hands. So we're taking a bit of artistic liberty here because they don't have little leaves like that on the side, but this character does. And also this character is gonna be wearing a pair of trainers. I know. <laughs> Who would have thought I would be saying, let's draw some trainers on our Brussels sprout, but here we are, people, let's just do it. So what I want you to do, we're gonna draw little vertical lines coming down right from the center, two little vertical lines coming down right from the center of our Brussels sprout. Then we're gonna draw a horizontal line like that and another one there. We're gonna make them the same length, like so. Then we're gonna come up and over and in to make like a little trainer shape. We'll do the same here. Up, round to the right and in. <laughs> cute! This is cute. Then we're gonna add, because it's Christmas, Brussels sprouts are kind of synonymous with Christmas, aren't they? In my house, we only eat Brussels sprouts at Christmas, which is a shame, because I do actually really like them. But because of that, Brussels sprouts just say Christmas to me, hence me including it in this video. But our Brussels sprout character is gonna be wearing one of those paper hats you get in a cracker to make him look extra Christmassy, or her, him or her, don't know. I don't know really what sex this Brussels sprout is. You can, you can choose yourself, can't you? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two vertical lines just coming out the top of our Brussels sprout's head. I mean, it's only got a head. Its head is also its body. And we're gonna join those with, with zigzag lines. One, two, mm, 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 up, down, and then we'll go up right at the end. So we've made one of those little papery hats. Cute! See, this is a cute one, isn't it? He's already cute. What I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna color my Brussels sprout in, okay? Because all of the other little details I'm gonna add, I'm either gonna do while I'm coloring or we're gonna add right at the end, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go into super speed mode as per usual. My, my Brussels sprout is gonna be regular Brussels sprout colors. So greens, really, mainly greens, maybe a little bit of yellow. Um, I might do a red hat, I think. But um, you can do yours, of course, any color you like. You know the rules with Draw With Rob. There ain't no rules. So I'll see you back here in about 20 seconds and then we'll add a few more details after that, okay? Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there is my little Brussels sprout character really starting to take shape now there's a few things to tell you about here first of all obviously a Brussels sprout is a globe it's a sphere not a globe a sphere and um, so I've shaded mine accordingly and I've done this with quite a few things in the past we I remember doing a worm coming out of an apple and what you do I've imagined the lights coming in from this side so I've made it slightly darker in these areas here but I've, can you see I've just kept a halo of light around, right around the edge there and you sort of blend that in and it just makes your character look a bit more three-dimensional um, and then little tricks like the little leaf hands you sort of make them darker where they meet the edge and it just makes them look like they're sitting just behind the, the front bit of the, the sphere so I've done that a crucial part of this drawing I think is this leaf pattern here and the front leaves of our Brussels sprout character so just lines with little bits coming off like the veins of a leaf I think they really are crucial to our Brussels sprouts 
character. So I've added those in. Uh, I've done little trainers here. I just had a bit of fun with the trainers. You can do whatever you, whatever you like there. But I just thought it'd be very cute to have a Brussels sprout wearing a pair of little Adidas trainers. <laughs> Christmas hat, as I told you, I've done mine red. Um, I've added two little eyebrows, so little sausage shapes in dark green um, above the eyes there. Then I've done little sort of, but they're not rosy cheeks, are they? Because they're green cheeks, but they're little kind of cheek patches with little freckles over the top just to make that character a little bit cuter. And now I'm going to add the mouth. And the mouth is another... So do you remember I said the eyes are a very... They're, they're kind of what makes your character look a bit mangerish, a bit kawaii-ish. These kind of like big black eyes with the two white uh, circles reversed out of them as highlights. They are very... They are key to the manga character, but also what's key is the mouth. And this is how we do the mouth. So we're going to do the mouth in, right in between the two eye, eyeballs. We're not going to do a nose, we're just going to do a mouth. And what we do, we do a little straight line first of all, and then we do a semicircle underneath it like that. And that is how we do our character's mouth. So a little smiley mouth in the middle, and it really finishes off our character perfectly, I think. And there we go, that's pretty much it. The only thing that we're gonna add now is something that I always add, a bit of shadow. So I'm gonna use this kind of like pale blue turquoisey greeny sort of color here just down by the trainers and we're just going to add a little bit of scribble either side like so just to make it look like might even do a little bit underneath like that just to make it look like our character is standing on a surface i've got a darker version here which i actually used in my trainers and we just make it darker right next to the trainer bits and there we go look at this guy I love this character, so cute. The little Brussels sprout. The final thing you've got to add to your drawing might be the most important thing of all. We need to sign it, don't we? So I'm gonna, it's a small drawing. I've done it very small on my piece of paper, so I'm gonna do a small signature. I'll do my full signature, why not? There we go. So everyone knows who has created this lovely work of art. Now. As I said, my little Brussels sprout character is pretty traditional colour-wise. The greens, the leafy green colours, two different shades of green. I've, I probably should have said I've done a much paler uh, green, sort of a yellower green in the top half, just to, just to differentiate between the leaves and the sort of the middle bit of the sprout. But as I said, you guys, you might have done multicoloured. Brussels sprouts. I hope you have because I want to see your drawings, your Christmassy drawings. So what I want you guys to do is get someone to take a picture of these drawings and post it on social media using this hashtag, the Draw with Rob hashtag. That way I will get to see it. If you're watching in Facebook, you can just comment uh, on this post with a picture of your drawing and I'll get to see that too. But I really, really want to see your drawings. Now, I know lots of you do these drawings in school as part of golden time. And particularly in the build up to Christmas, you guys, when you're doing all your fun Christmas activities, lots of you do a Draw With Rob video as well. So I would love to see your class all holding up your drawings. I love seeing that when it's an entire class holding up the Draw With Rob pictures. Um, you can always put the pictures in front of your face if you don't want to be seen on social media. But I would love to see a class full of Brussels sprout drawings. As I say, this is the very first drawing in this this year's Christmas series Draw With Rob Pictures and um, I think it's a pretty good start. What do you reckon? Cute character, huh? Cute character. It would look good on a, very good on a Christmas card. That's the good thing about Draw With Rob at Christmas. You can turn your drawings into Christmas cards for your parents or your friends. That's a lovely thing because I think everybody likes a homemade Christmas card picture so that's a good idea for you. Maybe if you're doing this at school you could turn these drawings into Christmas cards or a little Christmas display. How lovely. Or maybe even this is a good shape isn't it for this you could cut your drawing out like that and you leave a little extra bit at the top and you could make it into a christmas decoration like a little paper bauble that you could hang from your tree that's a lovely idea actually i think i might do that whatever you do please send me your drawings i do want to see them uh what else can i tell you oh yes if you uh subscribe if you're watching on youtube subscribe to my channel make sure you subscribe turn on your notifications that way you'll get told when a new video is out um, and also subscribe to my newsletter. Just go to this website address 
and sign up to the newsletter totally free. You won't get spammed. That way you get told when new videos are coming out. So why don't you do that? What else? I'll hang around to the end of this video and I'll show you inside the draw with Rob at Christmas book. You can have a look inside that in a little bit more detail. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've loved showing you how to draw this little Brussels sprout. I'm going to be back very soon with another Christmassy Draw with Rob video. In the meantime, keep those pencils sharpened and I will see you again soon. Bye, everyone. Just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am popping up again at the end of your video. I just wanted to very quickly tell you about this. It's the Draw with Rob at Christmas activity book. Lots of you have got the other activity book I know and there's more fun in this book here and it's all festive themed. So there's loads and loads of things for you to do. We've got an arty advent for you to start off with where there's something for you to do every single day. We've got blank Father Christmas letter pages. We've got Christmas deck, make your own Christmas decorations, make your own Christmas cards, lots of coloring, lots of draw alongs. Look, here we go, snowman draw along. Loads and loads and loads of things to do. Look, you can even make your own little box for Christmas gifts. And I have got you covered when it comes to thank you cards too. Look, here, I'm gonna get there. Oh, look, I forgot, nearly forgot to tell you this. It's one of my favorite bits. Christmas cracker jokes. You can cut all of these out roll them up and put them around the table at Christmas time and all your family and friends who are with you, they can each tell a joke and it's got little charades and it's got even got like little kind of guess the sketch ideas for you to draw along with each other over Christmas dinner. So listen, I think you're going to like this. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you cards. Look, mums and dads, ready-made thank you card templates. No excuse not to write those thank you cards, is there? So listen, check it out. It's available wherever you get your books from. Online, in person, even better. If you can find it in a bookshop, even better. It's, how much does it cost? 6 99 not too expensive. Perfect stocking filler. Actually perfect, I would say, to give to somebody on the 1st of December so they can enjoy it all the way through the build-up to Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm going to see you soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care, everyone.